Evening VC, Dave here. Uh, so seeing that I am stuck indoors tonight because there's a fucking clan rally over here at Bojangles Arena. Um, God, I think I just saw 437 T-Rucks from South Carolina on 7th Street here. Good Christ. Uh, so I got a request to show my Art Blakey records from Sherv and from Build Final Burst, so I will oblige. Uh, this in no way is any kind of complete collection. Uh, there might be about 30 records here or less. Uh, I could probably stand to find 20 more. Uh, if you want to see a complete collection of art, uh, head over to the Jazz Shepherds page and uh, channel. And he's, he, yeah. So I'll show what I got here. Um, got the Jazz Messengers at the Cafe Bohemia, Volume 1, on Blue Note. And later pressing on that. And of course, it got uh, Volume 2 as well. This lineup was uh, Kenny Dorham, Hank Mobley, Horace Silver, Doug Watkins, with Mr. Blakey. Blakey's one of my favorites on the drums, as he should be to anyone who's into jazz. Um, and then my one of my favorite trumpet players is on this record, Clifford Brown, A Night at Birdland. This is volume one on Blue Note. Lou Donaldson's here, Curly Russell, or Silver. Uh, I think another later stereo press on this. I found this in Record Archive in Rochester, I think. And of course, here's Volume 2 with the same lineup. And these are fantastic live performances. Um, I've been to Birdland. It does sound absolutely fucking amazing in that small room. Um, the Jazz Messengers. Uh, this is when uh, Columbia took a chance on Art and his group, and uh, it, it paid off for both parties. Um, so this is with Donald Byrd on trumpet, Hank Mobley on tenor, Horace Silver, Doug Watkins on the bass. Uh, this is a reissue. Um, this sounds really good. Um, I think this came out a while back, but uh, excellent one. Definitely in the Bob realm. Uh, the next is going to be one that I just showed in uh, the percussion video. Got a couple of these actually. This is Drum Sweet, Art Blake and the Jazz Messengers on Columbia. Uh, so, side A is uh, the Art Blakey Percussion Ensemble, and then side B is the Jazz Messengers with three tracks. That's an original. early press, early stereo press of uh, art uh, with Thelonious Monk on Atlantic. This one doesn't pop up too much. Great record. Rare to have Monk on a record with, with Art Blakey. And you've got, uh, I've got a later press of Monin. Um, this is one Lee Morgan stepped in uh, with Benny Golson on tenor, Bobby Timmons on piano, Jamie Merritt on bass. Starting to form that really great lineup here, and this is an all-time classic one. Blue Note. Uh, the next is a uh, movie soundtrack from France. Uh, Les Leonas Dangerosas. I don't know how to say it. I probably butchered that. Maybe it's Les Liaisons, Dangerous, I don't know. Um, this was one that don't pop up much either. Uh, this is on Epic. I think I found this at Carolina Soul, really cheap. Uh, great, great soundtrack here. From Art. I got another uh, one here. This is, um, I think I need 
couple more volumes of this. This is uh, live at Club Saint Germain or Germain on uh, Victor. This is a Japanese press, which is kind of crazy. Um, sounds freaking great, as all Japanese presses do. I uh, found this at Lunchbox. Would love to find the other volumes, but they're really hard to come by. Uh, next is another one I need another volume of. Uh, Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers at the Jazz Corner of the World. This is volume one. I've been looking for volume two for three or four years. Lee Morgan, Hank Mobley, Bobby Timmons, Jamie Merritt. Later, Stereo Press. These are like the blue or white bees. Next is one I got from uh, Sugar Records in Chicago. Uh, the Big Beat is an early press, early stereo press. One of my favorites of his. Uh, this is my favorite lineup uh, with Art. Um, Lee Morgan, Wayne Shorter, now on tenor. Bobby Timmons, Jamie Merritt. That's when this lineup came to be. This is when it was really cooking right here, and uh, that's one of my top two or three Blakey records for sure. Uh, the next is uh, Night in Tunisia. Uh, this is a France press. Oh, I can't remember what year they put this out, but have that lineup now and uh, this is an all-timer too sounds fantastic was, uh, let's see what does it say on there uh, path Marconi any of those pressings are, are, are great uh, uh, one of the owners of school kids records in Raleigh had uh, sold his blue note collection to uh, repo here and I got a good piece of it Boy, the helicopters are circling for old Cheeto. Um, Mosaic. Add Curtis Fuller to the mix. Cedar Walton on piano on this one. Another great one. Um, this, I think, is a, yeah, this is an OG stereo on that. One, I think I got this from the Polish Mafia. Uh, this is when you put one out for Impulse. This one's fantastic. Um, this one took me forever to find. This is an original mono. Uh, this is this sounds unreal. Really good sounding record. Uh, next is one that uh, doesn't pop up much. This is uh, with Bud Powell and Lee Morgan, uh, Blakey in Paris. Epic. It's a really cool record. Uh, next is uh, another one way up there. Caravan on Riverside now. Um, Reggie Workman's on bass here. Uh, yeah. Great, great art record. Now uh, the next, another one that I featured in the percussion video. Art Blakey and the Apo Drum Ensemble. Um, not an original. This is a Liberty, I think, but in pristine shape. Um, like I said, the kitchen sink on this one. Just look at that lineup. Uh, every every instrument you can imagine, percussion instrument thrown at you on that is freaking killer. Uh, next on Riverside, you get to another live performance from Birdland. Um, great, great performance, as all of his shows were. Uh, let's see. Next is uh, Bahana's Delight. Later Blue Note, probably Stereo Press. After that, we got uh, the Freedom Rider. He's in a great shape. This one plays really good. Stereo copy. Ollie's on Blue Note now. And uh, Free For All. This one's still in the original Shrink. This is a, even OG stereo or an early stereo. It's got the original $4.49 sticker on the back. It's a 
haven't been able to bring myself to tear the shrink wrap off on that, although I should. Uh, another one within the, in the shrink. Uh, this was a dollar price tag on it originally. Riverside now. Mono Press of Kyoto. This one don't pop up much either. This is a fantastic record. Uh, Wellington Blakey is on vocal on track three, which is something you don't see very often. Next, when I got it, uh, Record Archive, an original stereo press of Indestructible. This is a good one. Um, man. Got a little bit of writing on the back, but other than that, this was in fantastic shape, too. And next, I've got a promo copy on Limelight of Buttercorn Lady. This was uh, live at the lighthouse in Hermosa Beach. Um, found this at Graveface in Savannah. Didn't even know it existed. And uh, different lineup here. Um, Keith Jarrett on piano. Reggie Johnson on bass. Frank Mitchell tenor. Chuck uh, Mangione, Mangione on trumpet. And it is excellent on this. Great performance. Um, that's a really good one. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Some more Blue Note. Uh, like Someone in Love. This is an original stereo copy. And then you have my number one Blakey record. This is my favorite by far. The Witch Doctor is an original. Um, this is a perfect Blakey record. I love this one. Killer. And then this one I found at Tip Top. Uh, Roots and Herbs. Original stereo. And that's it. Um, like I said, man, there's a, there's a ton of Blakeys I need to find. They just reissued uh, a couple of live, more live cuts on the Blue Note, maybe 80 or Tone Poet. I can't remember which, but uh, they're still pricey. They're like 25 bucks a piece. So I've kind of passed on them. I can find older pressings cheaper half the time. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's what I've got so far. Blakey, hope everybody's well. Stay away from these clan rallies. Peace.